Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, and I'm the founder of solarquotes.com.au. Now, over the last four years, I have been asked probably thousands of questions about solar power, but the number one most common question I get asked is this. Hey Finn, thanks for the three quotes, really appreciate it. Uh, they were great guys, looked like really good quality systems, they knew what they were talking about, um, but I found a cheaper quote elsewhere. Should I go with those guys? Well, maybe, but just be aware that if it's much cheaper than the guys that I've referred to you and much cheaper than everyone else on the market, what is that telling you about the potential quality of the components and the install? I give lots of advice about how to rate a solar installer. You can look them up on the reviews on my website. We've got over 8,000 reviews of almost every solar installer in Australia. Um, you can Google the name, obviously. You can Google their name plus Whirlpool, which will give you the Whirlpool results, which is a kind of no holds barred solar forum. Um, and the people that ask this question, they do that and they find some really, really bad experiences with the company, but they still go with them because they're the cheapest. And the reason they go with them is that they ring up the company, give them a chance, and they say, hey, you know, what kind of solar panels do you use? And these guys say, we use monocrystalline solar panels. Well, that means nothing, okay? That's just a type of technology. You need to find out what brand they use. And if you do find out what brand they use, if you can't find any third-party validation on the web that those panels are any good, they're probably crap. Same with the inverter. Now, the other place that can cut costs is the installation. Um, I've seen very cheap solar installation companies that are charging half of what I think it would take to do a proper quality solar installation. Trust me, you don't want those guys installing your solar system. This is an electrical system that carries lots of current, lots of voltage, and if it goes wrong, it can be nasty. Now, a well-installed solar system is highly unlikely to go wrong. It's probably safer than the rest of the electrics in your house if your house is more than about five years old. But a badly installed solar system is bad news. I would not be comfortable having one of those on my house. So if you're considering a really cheap solar system, do your research, read the blog. There's all sorts of uh, advice and tips up there about how to work out if the solar system is really a good deal or if it's just a really cheap system that won't do the job. So do your research and please think really long and hard before going for the absolute cheapest system in the market. Because at the end of the day, when was the last time you ever bought the absolute cheapest option and had a good experience in the medium to long term? Probably never. And that's me, Finn Peacock, talking about really cheap solar systems. And I think you know my opinion on them now.